I've loaded up the web browser here so you can take a look at this is the um, bookmark system and both thumbnail and list versions quickly run over to the Adobe Flash Player about page so you can see we're running version 9.1 of Flash, not the full 10.1 that um, everybody's waiting for. Go to mobileburn.com mobile website, just so you can see how quickly everything comes up. We're on a Wi-Fi connection right now, but of course it has EVDO Rev A 3G data support as well. Jump over to the full site, load that up. You can see how well it renders. Everything comes across quite nicely. Double tap zooming. Of course, you also have multi touch zooming as well. Notice that everything reflows the text so as you can read it within your zoom window very quick thanks to the 1 gigahertz uh, Samsung Cortex-A8 processor as well. Verizon's VZ Navigator is preloaded onto the Fascinate. Just pulling up some information on the Philadelphia Airport. See this little tray pops out for uh, finding information like gas stations in the area and that kind of stuff. Entertainment. Fascinate also supports Verizon's VCast music with Rhapsody support. Go through and uh, download a track or two. Just like all the other devices, feature phone or smartphone alike, um, there's always this long connection time every time you're trying to do something, which really is pretty annoying. Tracks are still $1.99 each, which is also pretty pricey compared to what you can get from the Amazon MP3 store or even iTunes. took a while for the download to start, but once it's got going, it worked pretty well. Let's see if we can go back and pick up a different track, and we'll play them in the music player. Definitely takes a very long time for the download to start, but once it starts, you can see it comes down quite quickly. Now we're in the music player, and you can see the two tracks we just got. I'm going to press the lock button here on the side of the phone, throw it in a standby, and then bring it back up. And now you can see this little bottom of uh, Katy Perry's neck, I guess. You can tap on that, even though the display is still locked, and get access to the music controls without, without um, unlocking the whole phone, which of course you can still do. You also notice the music player shows up in the notification area right here so you can again control the music from here there's also handy controls for Wi-Fi Bluetooth GPS and throwing it into airplane mode as well got the camera application loaded up now you can see I can tap to focus wherever I like there's no hardware button for pressing the shutter button so you have to use this on-screen control here you can tap anywhere to focus which is kinda cool so you don't always have to center focus and then recompose you can just focus wherever need be 
and take the photo. Of course, it's a 5 megapixel camera. Uh, flash as well. You can take a look at some of the photos right there, but what I'm going to do is actually jump into the photo gallery instead. And what you'll see here, these are the photos shot with the camera built into the phone. But since I linked a Picasa account, you can also see my Picasa Dropbox. And this is one of the photos I shot on the Fascinate. And the way that worked is I was just viewing a photo here. You know, it happened to be this one. But I'll pick something uh, like I just shot here. Tap on the screen, go to share, and I say, let's just upload that right to Picasso. And I'm going to pick a new album for it. Excuse my errant press there. Call it Fascinate. Make it public. And upload it. And you're going to see it's going to upload that image right away to my new Picasso album. Very easy to share photos this way. Take a look at some of the other photos. This one was shot with flash. You can uh, see the coloring. It's, it's a little bit different. The flash works pretty well. It seems to be pretty decently modulated. This one was also flash. It's a video I shot in, uh, I guess it was about 8 o'clock in the evening, so it was getting kind of dark. 720p video recording capabilities on the Fascinate. It's a really sharp video, 30 frames per second. See some action here in a second. Cars going by as the light changes. Perhaps a better sample right here. Helping out a friend build a uh, clubhouse for his kids. You can see it's really, really crisp quality video. Like the other Galaxy S devices, the Fascinate records very high quality HD video. This is the email client. You can see it has a combined inbox. I have two accounts one is a Gmail account and the other is an AIM mail account. And you can see different colors for messages from the different accounts. You can also pull up just one particular account. It works in landscape or portrait, of course, and quickly switch between the accounts just by hitting the tab up at the top. Quick look at some uh, formatted text. See some of the colors appear to be off on this. No red text there for some reason uh, because of this background colors. Kind of strange. I haven't seen that on the other devices. Also have regular Gmail client, of course. We have a test Google Voice account we use for uh, text messaging and things like that and people randomly call it. But this is the Gmail client. also supports multiple accounts at the same time but if you use uh, the Gmail client then the mail doesn't come into the other combined inbox. If you look in the upper left hand corner of the notification area you can see that received uh, two text messages. You can jump in here and you can see the brightly colored threaded SMS system. Uh, really easy to tell what message is coming from which party. also have landscape mode and you don't have to use the swipe keyboard if you don't wish to. There's regular Android keyboard as well which of course works in landscape and portrait. That's my look at the Samsung Fascinate for Verizon Wireless. This is my favorite of the Galaxy S class devices so far. It has uh, the great you know, 4 inch Super AMOLED display, uh, 
good 3G speeds, customizable touch flow, 3 user interface. It just has a lot going for it. I even like the new Bing client that uh, has been loaded onto the device. So it's uh, on sale on September 9th for $199.99 after a $100 mail in rebate that comes in f the form of a uh, debit card. And it's a really slick smartphone. So if you're looking for something uh, a little bit different from Verizon Wireless in terms of an Android smartphone, I recommend you check out the Fascinate. This is Michael Oral for MobileBurn.com.